New at six from divorce trials to disputes over insurance. These cases are soon going virtual. Bear County says it will soon use Zoom video calls to conduct jury trials in civil cases. Eyewitness News reporter Mariah Medina talked to criminal attorneys who are concerned about the virtual solution. In May, the Collin County court system held the first of its kind jury trial via video conference. Now here at home, Bear County is looking to adopt the same virtual format for civil cases, divorce trials, car crashes, insurance issues, and more. Ultimately, the end result would be a jury trial on the criminal side, but whether or not we ever get there, I don't know. The county last week sent out jury summons to prospective jurors. Attorneys say while the stakes are lower on the civil side, the practice is still problematic. As an experienced trial lawyer, you want that. You want to be able to confront someone, be in front of them, walk and talk evidence in to a jury and then look at their demeanor. And you criminal defense attorneys so say they're There's opposed so to expanding the virtual happening. experiment to the criminal side of the house, saying it opens the door to an endless number of constitutional issues. In Collin County, in the first ever jury trial by Zoom, in a civil case, they had problems because a juror stood up and took a phone call and left the Zoom to do it. So how are we going to enforce the idea that a jury is sequestered, is free from external influences, when anybody who's been on Zoom for any length of time knows that pets, kids, external noises, phones, these things go off. Not to mention the possibility of connectivity problems, which I struggled with during these interviews. I'm getting emails, I'm getting text messages, I'm looking at social media. You think jurors aren't gonna do that? And that's exactly what they're not supposed to do. Ron Hell says he's aware of the numerous issues, adding it's why the county is starting small. Ultimately, we could not have a jury trial unless we could get past the constitutional issues. I don't know if we ever could. Mariah Medina, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News.